The first law of combat in the book Extreme Ownership is called Cover and Move. And Cover and Move, as you'll find out more if you join us in an um, in-person event in Las Vegas, fundamentally, Cover and Move is a gunfighting tactic. One gunfighter provides cover by laying down lead and fire while the other moves and maneuvers on the enemy. And then he lays down fire in a position while the other guy leapfrogs and moves to another location. And they leapfrog so forth, providing cover and moving, cover and moving. Okay. This is basically, it's a gunfighting tactic. And it's fundamentally basically the only actual military infantry tactic that exists is cover and move. And what happens is, is that we've, seen how that applies to the business world because it is fundamentally the mo at, at its core the purest example of teamwork that I could, ever, that I could really ever think of. So cover and move, although uh, is fundamentally a military gunfighting tactic, is essentially is teamwork. And right now more than ever, this company that I was just describing to you who's tired but has more business than they've ever had and is otherwise weathering the storm incredibly, more than ever, they need to focus on their team and on their teamwork and on their relationships. Because no matter what, when they come through this, and this cycle of nutso -ness, insanity ends, and it will end, this because this too will change. This, this will come to an end. More than ever, I, I said, you guys have got to stay together as a team. And when this is all over, you can't be hating each other so much that your team fractures as a result of this, because then you've got nothing. Now you're starting all over again. So remember that your team is more important than any one single loan. At the same time, no one person is above any one loan. Like, you know, no one person is so important that they can say, screw you to a borrower or whatever. But your team is more important than any one loan. Because when that loan closes, and yes, it's a lifelong customer and you want the referral and the repeat business, when that loan closes and you say thank you and they move on, maybe refer you down the road, next month, guess who's still around, hopefully? Your team. And you close a bunch of loans and those people are gone out the back of the pipeline and you stay in touch and they're your friends and they refer you and you catch up on Facebook. But next, the next month, guess who's still around? You and your team. So when you get frustrated, Remember that these relationships in your team are the most important thing right now. And that if you can come through this stuff together, if you can build relationships, you can actually come through everything right now even stronger than when you went into it. And the teams that stay together right now, that learn to cover and move for one another through these unique challenges, who take ownership of these challenges rather than casting blame about what's happening in the market in COVID-19 or the weather or whatever the case may be, easy to blame external circumstances. The teams that don't, that take extreme ownership, that cover and move for each other, that focus on relationships can and will actually come through this storm that we're in stronger than they went into it. And those teams, those, 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 their doors aren't closing they're not just gonna decline a little bit and get better. They're actually gonna thrive and come through the other side stronger than they went in.